Honestly, I don't feel like we learned everything we needed to know about Makima in Chainsaw Man Part 1, so hopefully we'll get it in Part 2. Let's talk about it. So this video will contain manga spoilers for pretty much all of Chainsaw Man Part 1, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then obviously don't watch this video. Um, but I just kind of want to talk about like what to expect in part two regarding Makima, even though if you've read part one, you know that she was taken out of the story. Um, in a way, I mean, we still got the new character, Nayuta, which has some sort of connection to her, but we really don't know um, how much. Like, I don't think she's going to have any memories or anything that Makima had. And it's basically almost like... Uh, they're not even connected really honestly I, they're two completely different characters they just share the same power because they're you know the control devil and i just want to talk about makima because i feel like there's so many things about makima that are still kind of up in the air and how, like how is it that now that she is gone how can we expect more content from her in part two well let's talk about it basically i was reading uh, re, re going, going through some Chainsaw Man, uh, part one, and in chapter two, Makima talks about how she used to know a judge, and that judge is the one who told her that, uh, if you, um, that they, that they euthanize dogs that they can't use, right? That's the whole thing that sets up the whole, you know, Makima wants to treat Denji like a dog scenario, is when she talks about that. And I never really thought too much into it, um, other than the dog side, because pretty much for the rest of the series, the symbolism of, you know, being Makima's dog is pretty much carried throughout all of part one. But something that I never really like caught on too much is that she talked about knowing a judge. Now, obviously that could just mean anything i mean that could just be a random thing that might not have any convenience later you know down the story um but i was kind of thinking what if it does though what if like this judge is somebody important in chainsaw man part two what if like dingy you know did we know that dingy's going to school in part two so like let's say um, I mean, part two is not out, but we know by the way that part one ended, that part two is most likely going to take place in a school. And I look at it like this, right? Like, what if, like, Denji does something illegal, is, you know, going to court or whatever, and then meets that judge or whatever. And who knows? I mean, it's very, very vague. And so we really don't know. But I just kind of want to, like, mention that because, like, I don't really see anybody else talking about this whole judge situation. And I understand that it is such a minor, like, sentence that is just said once. And I don't believe it's brought up for the rest of part one. But I just think that, like, Fujimoto has said before, um, in, a, in an interview where a lot of times he actually writes things as if they're foreshadowing something but he actually has no idea what it's, it's foreshadowing like he'll just retcon it in later into the story but then when you look back at the, the at the earlier material it's like oh he mentioned this on chapter whatever it's like yeah but he actually doesn't plan it ahead of time he just writes things down that sounds like it could be something in the future and then gives himself you know time for in the future to expand on that and flesh it out so then it looks like oh wow he actually foreshadowed that like 70 80 chapters ago when really he didn't even know the direction it was going in the first place he just wrote it down because it's something to work with and i think that's a really good skill because now we have this whole judge situation where this could be anything like this can go anywhere, like, yeah, I mean, like, who knows, maybe the judge is Makima's lover, maybe, who knows, or a family member, or best friend, or maybe rival, enemy, who knows, um, uh, there's a million other things, but I just think that it would be cool if, like, some sort of judge character comes into part two, and, th and that's how we get a lot of information about Makima. Maybe we get, like, a Makima backstory or something. How, sh how did she join the Devil Hunters? That's something else I want to talk about, is Makima was talking to, like, the Council of Devil Hunters, you know, and that's something I want to dive into, is, like, more of... The devil hunter society because we really don't know anything about the devil hunter society like the whole council and everything that makimo is talking to it's like 
we have almost no information on those guys. Like, the only information we know is what Dinji knows. And he showed up, and he started working under Makima directly, not the council. Like, I don't think Dinji has even ever met the council, you know? Like, all those higher-ups and stuff. And I'm wondering, like, I want more information on those guys. Like, we don't know anything about those guys and why did they hire makima specifically do they know about makima did they ever know that she was the control devil i don't believe she did um i mean the president of the u.s at the time uh he did so how did he know but did the devil association not know or in part two are we gonna dive deeper into the devil Asso hunter association and those councilmen will actually talk about Makima and talk about her backstory. Are we going to get more information on her backstory through that? Or maybe it might not be backstory. Maybe it's other stuff that she's done or, or how is it that she collected all of the gun devil and whatnot? Like, I just want more information. I just feel like there's so much about Makima, especially her abilities. Like she uses like multiple abilities throughout the series that have nothing to do with control. I mean, she's able to die multiple times and come back perfectly fine. She's able to do like hand signs and stuff to, to squash people into piles of blood. She's able to revive people from the dead. Like, I don't, she's, she was able to fuse freaking Aki and the gun devil together, like which I guess you could say is just a contract or I made a video talking about how dingy's parents are probably uh devils as well because it is said in chapter one that um dingy said that he heard a rumor that devils can actually take over dead people's bodies so maybe makima killed aki and then had the gun devil take over his body and that's kind of what i predicted about dingy's parents how dingy's parents are dead but what if a devil took over their body um kind of like how he mentions in chapter one so, I don't know. I mean, this is just kind of like a discussion slash theory video. There's not much to go on other than there's there are still multiple ways that Fujimoto could give us more information on Makima, whether it's her backstory, whether it's her you know position in the Devil Hunter Association, how she got in, um, just any type of just cool side stories would be nice, or even more... Uh, in depth on her power which we could probably get through Nayuta because maybe um Nayuta starts using powers that aren't the control devil powers but she starts using powers you know beyond that um like Makima did and then maybe Kishibe or something will look into it and then he will be the one to discover oh this is like Makima this is how it happens and then that's when we get our explanation but other than that I guess we'll have to wait Anyways, that's all I have for you today, but if you want to check out my manga series, Katosai, there will be a link in the description where you can actually go read it for free right now. Also, check out any of my playlists if you missed any Chainsaw Man, Dadadan, or any other videos on anime and manga, and even my SSR episodes, which are my Sunday series recommendations, where every other Sunday I read the first chapter of a manga that I've never read before, and then I recommend it to you guys. But with all of that said, I'll see you in the next one.